Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenWeapons.com. I'm Ian McCollum, and today we are taking a look at a particularly fantastic and fancy book here. This is Clockwork Basilisk, The Early Revolvers of Elisha Collier and Artemis Wheeler. Guns you may not have heard of, or you may have seen some of the several videos I've done on examples of these guns in the past ten years. Well, what we have here is a book that meticulously covers all of their history, and really all the history surrounding the guns as well. So Artemis Wheeler and Elisha Collier uh, patent and manufacture a revolving firearm. It's largely pistols, but also long guns are manufactured, uh, starting in 1818. So this predates Sam Colt by a good 20 years, and one of their models is essentially a self-cocking revolver. Um, it is the, the single action revolver that Colt claims to have patented. So did he really, or did Collier and Wheeler predate him? Well, Collier and Wheeler predated him. And in fact, there's a big section in here on the trial in 1852 where Colt sues uh, Levitt and another company for Wesson and Levitt and another company uh, for patent infringement. And Collier comes up as a significant element in this trial because conceptually his work should uh, should invalidate the Colt patents. But uh, spoiler, it didn't. Colt won the, the lawsuit, and there's all sorts of intrigue and skullduggery involved in that that's covered here. But, uh, but let me go back a moment here. Um, the book begins by covering the history of revolving firearms in brief before Collier, because revolving firearms come about in the 1540s. Almost as early as people developed firearms, they developed multi-chamber rotating firearms as well. Although for several hundred years these would all be manually operated guns. But that's all covered. Then the development of Collier and Wheeler's design, both the clockwork really cool mechanical ones as well as the later manually operated guns were developed to be cheaper and more effective on the market, better sellers. Uh, there's a section on the engraving on Collier's, there's a section on the history of the collecting of Collier's. Where does the information that we have come from? Uh, what are the big collections? Who did the groundwork on identifying and understanding Collier's? There's a collector by the name of Clay Bedford who did a lot of the groundwork in categorizing and understanding these guns, and, and his history is explained in here. Um, section on reproductions on fakes, because a gun this rare, by the way, total production of these guns was between 220 and 250, so they're pretty exotic uh, boutique pieces, extremely desirable for collectors. They're six-figure guns most of the time, unless the condition's really horrible. Uh, so there are of course fakes and reproductions, there's a whole section in the book talking about that. And as you may have noticed, we actually have two volumes here. So. Uh, in total this is just over 600 pages. The first volume is essentially the history of the guns, the mechanics of the guns, where they came from, where they went, their impact in the, the trial with Colt. The second volume is largely a catalogue raisonné, which is a catalogue of every known surviving example of Collier, including a number of reproductions and fakes. Um, I think there's 74 different guns. so. Basically a third of the original production are detailed in here as surviving examples, with photographs and as much information as can be gathered on them today. Uh, including some guns that existed for a time and no longer do. I know there are a couple that like were lost in fires where they were photographed, and the photographs survive here, but the guns no longer exist. Anyway, a fantastic reference for anyone who's interested in the, the history of early revolving firearms, American firearms history, or the Collier in specific. Uh, the second volume, including, in addition to that catalogue raisonné, includes a number of appendices, a lot of the, uh, the public information, like the New York Times articles discussing the patent infringement trial with Colt in the 1850s is in there, and then a complete parts breakdown identifying uh, and describing each individual part of each of the models of Collier, as well as uh, 3D breakdowns uh, done in collaboration with the World of Guns program. So a massive amount of information. Um, this book was like nine years in the making. Uh, the author, Ben Nicholson, is a professor at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. Not the place you may stereotypically think of firearms researchers coming from, but in 2015 this became just an absolute passionate focus of his, the, the Collier Revolvers, and he dedicated oh, eight or nine years 
uh, to researching and writing about them, along with, by the way, the help of a whole team of other interested researchers. So some names that you hopefully will recognize, guys like Jonathan Ferguson from the British Royal Armouries, as well as some names that you won't, but guys who are excellent scholars in their own right. Guys like Frank Graves, David Williams, Matthew Schneiderman, John McLean. Uh, there's a whole team involved in the writing of this book. So Ben Nicholson was the primary author, but it wasn't his work alone. And the research that they did covered like nine different countries, three different continents, they went all over the place tracking down the history of the Colliers, and it's an amazing history. So the photography is fantastic, as Headstamp always strives for, and I honestly don't think there will ever be a more detailed book about the history of the Collier system and the Collier revolvers. Nicholson and his team have absolutely hit it out of the park on this. So. If you guys are interested, this is now, as I said at the beginning, in stock and available uh, from Headstamp Publishing. We have two versions. Uh, the standard version is $120 for both volumes. Uh, the, we also have a version signed by the author, that's $150, again for both volumes together, um, available only at headstamppublishing.com. So I'll include that link in the description text below if you're interested. Check it out. I'm very proud of this book. I think it makes a fantastic addition to our catalogue at Headstamp Publishing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.